Hi, I'm Lee Partridge and welcome back to Cole UTV. Firstly, uh, a very happy and Merry Christmas to each and every one of you. Uh, we're aiming to get back to winning ways this evening as Salford City join us here at the JobServe Community Stadium in what will be our first Friday night fixture of the season. Matty Etherington's men will be hoping to give us an early Christmas present in the form of three points. And if you can't be here this evening, you can watch from the comfort of your own home or anywhere else in the world for our first festive fixture uh, for just £10 on the iFollow Pass. Details on how you can purchase yours are available on the website. On tonight's show, we'll have a pre-match thoughts from Ellis Iandolo and a look back at the last time we faced the Amis. But first, let's get the pre-match thoughts from Matty Effrington. Matty, you've had pretty much a full week of uh, preparation for the Salford game on Friday night. Has that been beneficial at this time uh, from last Saturday? It has. Obviously, more work on the grass. We've not had many of these weeks. Obviously, last week was one, but first time in a while where, where you can get some real work into the players. Um, so, yeah, it's been, it's been another good week. There was um, some meetings early part of the week, um, which were good, productive, and, uh, yeah, ready for Friday night. And obviously, out there this week, two or three more players uh, coming back from injury. Uh, you know, that must be a boost as well, not just for you, but for the rest of the lads, knowing that uh, we've, we've got a stronger squad to select from. Yeah, it's a, it's a boost for everybody, I think. that um, You can see that in training. <clears throat> the likes of Ellis getting his minutes last weekend. A real boost for everybody. Um, and now, Connor Hall, Tom Dallison... Uh, Alamin uh, coming back and into training, coming back into our thoughts for the weekend. Uh, sorry for Friday night. Um, yeah, it's, it's, the squad's starting to, to look a lot more healthier. And looking at it, I mean, it, it looks from the outside that the belief is still there in the squad and everyone, you know, wanting things to go right. But it is, as football is, just in both boxes over the last two or three games where it's cost us dearly. It has. And um, that was definitely the case against Wrexham last weekend. And it has been the case, as you mentioned, um, for, for a good few weeks now. So it's something we need to rectify. It's something that we've spoken about. Um, and yeah, the, 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 the players are chomping at the bit. I've got to be honest, the training the last two days has been very, very good. Um, and yeah, they're ready to go. And there's four games in the space of 10, 11 days, I think it is. Does that play on your mind or is it just, right, let's prepare for this one game and then you move on? I think now, now the prep's done for for Salford tomorrow night. I think we need to start looking at MK Dons because it's a quick turnaround. Then you've got Wimbledon, obviously, Gillingham, etc. So um, you need to do your work um, plenty of time in advance um, uh, while still obviously focusing on the game tomorrow night. But I'm talking in terms of the prep. That's all done now. Um, and yeah, the game's come thick and fast. So it's a busy time for everybody. Um, the players will be getting their work in as well. Saturday morning, um, Christmas Day, getting prep, uh, preparing in the right way. Um, and then, yeah, busy, busy week or two. I suppose that when there are that many games in a short space of time, it's that balance between work and, and rest that yeah. you have got to get right. But it's making sure that everybody's ready when called upon because with, with the amount of games in such a short space of time, you're going you're gonna to need your squad. Um, so those boys that uh, are perhaps not getting the minutes at the minute that they need are going to need to be ready. So that's why we're training Saturday, for example. The boys that play will, will be recovering, but... There'll be a group out there working really hard, ready if needed for Boxing Day and, and the games after that. And I suppose for those guys, it's a mental thing as well, isn't it? Making sure you are ready. You, know, you haven't started three, four, five games mm. leading up to it, but all of a sudden you might be thrown in. So everything you do physically and mentally has got to be right. Uh, 100%. And, and that's, that's the message to the players is that, that, that they have to be ready for, if called upon. And um, just the way they're training this week, as I, as I mentioned previously, they look like they're ready, every single one of them. So it's been a really positive week in that, so. Matty, feeling confident ahead of tonight's clash, having nearly a full week to prepare. And it's also good to hear that he has more players returning from injury and hopefully that will cause him some selection headaches. Just a reminder that if you're not here, you can watch all the action anywhere in the country anywhere in the world, for £10 on the I follow. We've faced Salford eight times in our 86-year history, winning five of those, drawing two, and losing just one. And this is a trend that Matty and all the players will hope to continue this evening, adding another victory and three points to that tally. Let's remind ourselves what happened last time we faced the Amis.
no Chilvers first half strike was enough for us to take all the points against Salford. That was earlier this year. The deflected effort saw us pick up all three points. Matty and his players will be aiming to put in a similar performance and get the same result from tonight's game. And a man that's hoping to make an impact on this evening's proceedings is Ellis Ayandolo. Ellis has been frustrated uh, at the start of his career here in Essex because of the ankle injury he picked up in the first game of the sea. And that's seen him sit out for four months after requiring surgery. But it was clear to see his desire and impact that the summer arrival had last weekend, contributing to Jaden's goal. Let's get his thoughts on the injury and his recovery process. Ellis, we'll talk about tomorrow night's game in a bit, but must be just pleased to be back out on the grass and back in contention for games and squads. Yeah, no, definitely. It's been a tough, a tough four months for me. Um, since I got injured at Bradford. Um, so yeah, just pleased to get back out there. Hopefully I can, you know, provide provide something for the team and we can, um, we can get get off to a good start to the Christmas period with a win tomorrow. And, and obviously, was it four months that you always expected it to be four months or was it a bit longer or shorter than at first thought? Uh, yeah, I think initially, I didn't think it was going to be too bad. And then obviously speaking to specialists and, and stuff like that and then, you know, undergoing surgery, I, it sort of was expected to be, you know, quite a, um, a lengthy injury. There's obviously ups and downs throughout that time, and there was a point where I thought I might be back a little bit quicker. Um, but yeah, now I'm at a point now where I feel, you know, good and fit to play. So yeah, so it's just it's just good to be back out there. And in those more difficult times, is it tough mentally to keep yourself knowing that all the work that you're going to be doing in the gym or or a swimming pool or anywhere else you're doing it? Is for an end goal. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I think I think there's, you know, times throughout where you go through, you know, times where you can get feel that like you can get through it quite easily, and then there's obviously really tough times. Um, yeah, there was a, t a time where I thought I was going to be back out on the pitch, and then it sort of just had a bit of a setback. And I think they're the things that really mentally you have to deal with as a as an injured player. You know, trying to you know stay focused, stay stay on course, and and do everything you can to make sure that when you do come back, you know, you're fit and as, as good as you can be for the team. And unfortunately for us, but is it, is it better when there's other lads around you all the time, uh, you know, doing the same work and with the same goal of getting back fit? Um, I think, to be honest, it's, it's never easy, you know, regardless of who you've got around you when, when things are not going well on the pitch um, or on, in the league. I think everything in football is a lot harder once uh, when you're not winning games, so for me it's been really tough watching you know watching us not not do as well as we should be doing. So I think that's how a lot of the other injured lads are feeling as well, and we all want to be back out there and, and doing our bit on the pitch to, to make sure we can turn our season around. Yeah, and like I say, tomorrow's the first of uh, three or four games over the Christmas period. Do the players like think themselves right? You know, you know we can turn things around over this period and really set ourselves up for the second half of the season. Yeah, I think this is the best the best point of the season to turn things around or to really rack up points if you can go and put you know three or four wins together it all looks different coming into January and and you can start the year um, in, a, in a much better place than you did before the Christmas period so it's a, it's a really good chance for us to to go out and put some some points on the table yeah and hasn't happened hasn't happened too often this season but we've had a, a clear week again of, uh, of getting work done out on the training ground and Matty been able to work uh, well with the squad this week? Yeah, I think it's been, it's been a really good week to be honest. I think the performance at Wrexham, we've obviously looked over that and <clears throat> I think a couple of players coming back in um, to training this week has given the boys a bit of a boost and we're just really looking forward to hopefully you know, picking up three points in front of uh, the Colu fans on, on Friday. Good to see Ellis back out on the pitch after a very frustrating and tough four months. Also good to see his desire and determination to get back in the starting 11 and make an impact. You can see tonight's starting lineup all on our socials and the website. Uh, last reminder, if you're not here, you can watch on the iFollow and that goes for all the games over the festive period. They will also be available on the iFollow and the Gillingham tickets uh, for the game here. That is also available right now. 
Right, that's about it from me. Uh, all that's left to say is on behalf of everyone here at Colchester United, we wish you a very, very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I'll be back for the pre-match show on New Year's Day. Until then, have a great Christmas, you, your family, all your friends. Till next time, it's goodbye for now.